Today we'll be taking a look at the Arc Captain MiG-200 6-in-1 Inverter Welder. The Arc Captain MiG-200 features six welding functions, Synergic MiG, 2T or 4T trigger settings, inductance adjustment, wire feed speed adjustment, VRD, dual voltage, memory settings, hot start settings, arc force, anti-stick capabilities, adaptive crater, and pre-flow and post-flow adjustments. We'll be setting this up to weld 22 gauge automotive sheet metal using 0 0.023 inch wire and 8020 CO2 argon gas. It accepts large or small spools and the adjustment nut, which is spring loaded, is tightened just enough to keep the roll of wire from unraveling. After feeding the wire through the liner to the end of the gun, you'll close this down and set the tensioner. If the welding wire burns back and gets stuck in the contact tip, you'll want to adjust this knob tight enough to push the wire through while welding, but loose enough to allow slippage in the case of burn back. Otherwise, you'll get a little bird's nest of wire all wound up and messed up right there. Here's a real close-up shot of the roller, and you can see it just slides right off there. And there's a key right in there. You just put the nut back on and tighten it down. A good setting for the gas is 20 CFH. To set that, you'll just adjust this knob while squeezing the trigger. So you can see we have it set there. Let's see, we'll lower it, and we're right on 20. The Arc Captain MiG-200 has a large, easy-to-read and easy-to-navigate user interface. Voltage and amps in synergic mode, right up here in these screens, or manual mode, you have voltage and wire speed. We'll go back to synergic. These are your memory settings. This is the mode or the welding process that you're in. So we have MMA, TIG, MIG with a spool gun, or back to MIG. This is your wire size that you're welding with. Again, automatic or manual. This is the trigger type. And you either got on and off. On and then off or spot. And this is the type of gas or material that you're welding. In synergic mode or automatic mode, the only dial or adjustment you have to worry about is this one right here. More heat, turn it up. Less heat, turn it down. And the machine automatically adjusts your wire speed. And this is inductance right here. It's the type of weld or how it's laying down. You can keep that right at standard or turn it up or down depending on what you like. In manual mode, it's like a conventional welder. Turn it up. This is your heat setting. If you need more heat, turn it up. Less heat, turn it down. And this is your wire speed. Again, we'll be welding 22 gauge automotive sheet metal and we're going to keep it in synergic mode. This is manual and back to synergic. This is the type of trigger. We're going to leave it on off type of gas. We have an 80 20 mix over here. The mode or process that you're in, we're in MIG, and this is the wire size, and we're at 0.6 millimeters. With the ground clamp hooked up to some clean sheet metal, we'll give it a try. And that works as good as any welder I've ever used. And here's a close-up shot of those welds. And the back side. With the same settings, we'll try a lap joint.
Here's a close-up shot of that weld after finishing. And here's the back side of that weld. And last we'll try butt welding. So we'll turn the heat down just a little bit. We'll turn it down to like 65. And here we go with that. And here's a close-up shot of those welds. And the back side. The welder does have an adjustable spot weld setting, so if you want all your spot welds to be exactly the same size, you can set it to spot. Once you have the settings you like, you can store those parameters in the memory. And that's that button right there. You press it once, it goes over to S, and those are the amount of seconds or fractions of a second that it welds for under the spot weld setting. Press it again, you have memory. The number one preset looks like this. And if we go back to the number two preset, it's what we were doing before with the spot weld setting. Again, this is a multi-process welder, so to switch over to another process, just hit this button. This is stick, TIG, aluminum MIG, and back to regular MIG. To switch over to stick, for example, you would undo this. We're going to leave this ground right there, and then that guy put it right in there, twist it tight and we're ready to stick weld. We can then adjust our parameters for stick and we'll put them in the memory. We'll put them in memory slot number three and set it to stick and adjust our amperage to whatever we like and it automatically remembers those settings. With its user-friendly interface, the ability to MIG weld aluminum, a quality feel, and a solid construction, this welder is a perfect fit for auto body repair and many other trades. I hope you enjoyed this video on the ARP Captain MIG 200. If you did, and you'd like to get my latest videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button.